Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I need to talk about this little device, the iPad mini 7 with the A17 Pro chip. For a little while now, I've been using it with the new iPad OS 26 update. And honestly, it's completely changed my perspective on what this iPad is for. You know, for the longest time, I've had this sort of frustrating relationship with the iPad mini line. When the mini 7 came out with this super powerful A17 Pro chip, it felt like it had so much potential locked away. I mean, we saw previous versions like iPad OS 18, where key multitasking features like Stage Manager were kept for the Air and Pro models. And it was confusing, right? It felt a bit unfair. You have this incredibly capable chip in your hands, but the software holds it back. But this year, this year is different. I've got to give credit where it's due. With iPadOS 26, it feels like Apple finally listened. They gave all those powerful new multitasking features to this mini iPad, and it's such a good move. I really appreciate what they've done here. It finally feels like the hardware and software are perfectly in sync. And that's what I really want to talk about in this video. This update has fundamentally changed how I interact with this iPad every single day. It's gone from being, you know, a device for single tasks like watching videos or browse the web, an experience that wasn't that far off from just using a big iPhone to something that genuinely gives me a Mac-like experience. Now I can juggle a lot of different tasks with incredible ease and smoothness. So today I'm going to walk you through my full experience, we'll cover what's new, what's great, the day-to-day -day performance, battery life, and really dig into whether this little iPad has finally become the mini Mac we always hoped it could be. So what's the big deal with this new update? Well, you know, when the iPad mini 7 was released with the A17 Pro chip, it was already a pretty powerful little device. But with iPadOS 26, it's like Apple has unlocked its true potential. It's not just an incremental update, it's a huge leap forward. It's a bit like when you have a car that you know has a powerful engine, but you've only been driving it in the city. And then one day you take it out on the open highway and you finally get to see what it can really do. That's what iPadOS 26 feels like on the iPad mini 7. All right, let's get into the review. Now, I'm not gonna spend too much time on all the big design changes in iPadOS 26. I know you've probably seen a ton of videos about the new liquid glass design that Apple has put across its entire OS this year. So instead of repeating all that, I just wanna quickly show you a couple of things I've been liking. So like here on the lock screen, you can see you can now make the clock a much bigger size, which is a nice little touch. And then when you swipe up, you get to the home screen. And you know, you've got this new icon style. If you go into the edit section here, you'll see the new options that let you use clear and tinted styles, which plays more with that new liquid glass look. It's pretty cool to play around with. For now though, I'm just using the default style. Honestly, I just like to see this mode as it is right now. But yeah, it's that level of customization that I think is really nice to finally have. But the real game changer here, the thing that changes everything for this device is the new multitasking system. This is what takes it from being just a bigger iPhone like I was talking about to a truly advanced tool. As a content creator, my workflow can get pretty messy. I do a lot of writing and a lot of researching to make a good script for my videos. Before this update, it was a bit of a pain. You know, I'd have to keep switching between apps. Now I can have my script open, a Safari window with my research right next to it, and maybe even a small YouTube window playing in the corner for a bit of inspiration. It's, it's honestly a little mind blowing to do all this so effortlessly on an iPad mini. It feels so much like a Mac. And I wanna be transparent about how I use my devices. I also have the bigger 12.9 inch iPad Pro with the powerful M series chip, and that's my main editing machine. So I've developed this two iPad system that works perfectly for me day to day. I do all my initial research and script writing on this iPad mini, then I'll move over to my big iPad Pro to edit the final video, but then I come right back to this little guy. I use it to make the video thumbnail, jumping between Canva for the design and a bit of Lightroom for tuning the photo. I use it for managing everything on YouTube Studio. And honestly, I can even edit short videos on here flawlessly because it's so small and light. I can just be lying on the bed or relaxing on the sofa while working. It's incredibly comfortable and casual. And I can tell you that with iPadOS 26, this whole process is doing a lot better. And I mean, a lot better. The A17 Pro chip keeps everything incredibly smooth. There's no lag, no stuttering. 
It just works. I've gotten so used to this flow that I even rarely use my Mac or laptop anymore to handle my day-to-day -day tasks as a content creator. It's these experiences, this seamless, powerful, and portable workflow that make me dare to say that for me, this iPad mini now is a Mac mini lookalike. It's that good. Now, you might be thinking, with all this new power and multitasking, the battery life must take a hit, right? Well, you know, I was a bit worried about that too, but I've been pleasantly surprised. I've been using it pretty heavily throughout the day, browse, watching videos, editing and all that, and I'm still ending the day with a decent amount of battery left. It's not gonna last you for days on a single charge, especially with heavy use, but it'll definitely get you through a full day, which is really all you can ask for. So what's the bottom line here? What's the final verdict on the iPad mini 7 with iPad OS 26? Well, to put it simply, this is one of the most exciting products Apple has released in a while. Not because it's brand new hardware, but because the software has finally caught up to the hardware's promise. It has transformed from being just a small iPad into a tiny, portable, and incredibly capable computer. All those new features we talked about, the powerful multitasking, the Mac-like experience with windowing and menus, the raw performance from that A17 Pro chip, it all comes together to create a device that is an absolute joy to use. It's a device that feels like it respects your desire to do more in a smaller package. Now, who is this for? I want to break it down. First, if you're someone who is considering getting an iPad mini 7, my recommendation is a wholehearted. Yes, but with a new perspective. Don't just see it as a media consumption device anymore. Think of it as a secondary portable powerhouse that perfectly complements a main machine, like my iPad Pro. Or for many people, this could genuinely be your main ultra portable computer, especially if your work is centered around tasks like writing, research, and managing things online. It's that capable now. Second, if you're someone who already owns an iPad mini 7, you basically just got a brand new device for free. This update is going to make you fall in love with it all over again. I really encourage you to dive into these new multitasking features. Don't be afraid to push it. Open a few windows, drag and drop files, and really try to change your workflow. You'll be shocked at what the device you already have in your hands can now do. And finally, if you're an iPhone user who's just curious about all this, well, look closely. This is more than just an update. This is a pretty clear glimpse into the future of Apple's mobile operating systems. The line between phone, tablet, and computer is getting blurrier, and this iPad mini is right at the forefront of that change. It's a preview of a future where you can do serious complex work on any size screen. That's all for me today. I really hope this detailed look at my experience was helpful for you. It's been really fun to discover this new potential and share it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm genuinely curious to hear your thoughts. What do you think about this new direction for the iPad mini? Are you using these features? Let me know your workflow in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe and all that good stuff. It really helps the channel out.